So if you ever used Anatany, you probably know that there is no way to uh, specify dynamic credentials. So in every node that you are using, you have to specify credentials directly in that node like this. You have to choose a node, right? And then specify credentials which are predefined. Imagine you have a complex workflow with different sub workflows in it, each of which contain a lot of different nodes where you have the same credentials. So every time you would like to change the environment, for example, you have a test environment, a test workflow, and you would like to make a release. So you have to update every single node manually. So what are your options in that case? Duplicate the whole workflow for each environment. Uh, or manually change these uh, credentials, automated somehow, right? So I searched Reddit a lot. Uh, I read uh, documentation and I haven't found any solution for that. I even tried community plugins, but uh, none of them worked in my case. And based on different comments, I figured out that they have broken. So after some time of thinking, I surprisingly figured out how, how to achieve that, right? Without any plugins or external tools, just a simple, simple trick. Let me show you how it works. So once again, this is a massive project with different nodes and sub workflows and these sub workflows can look like this, you see. So there are tens of different nodes uh, which shares the same credentials, right? So every time I have to go from test environment to staging environment or to a production environment, I have to do this manual job. It's a nightmare, it's error prone, so don't recommend. So what, what is the basic idea? So for each of my environments, I have duplicated workflows, but it's really simple. It's just two nodes, a trigger node and execution of my main workflow, right? So obviously I have a bot for testing, bot for staging and bot for production. So yes, I have this workflow um, duplicated. Then the magic happens here in main workflow. Let's go and take a look. Because in main workflow, I have another sub workflow, which I call get env. The main job of which is to take environment variable, uh, which I define in my trigger workflow. Let's say it's a test or it's a staging or it's a production. That's it. After that, it uses switch here to define which credentials do I want, right? So either it's a test or a staging or a production. And then I got uh, different parameters, including token. Right, including token for each of my environment. If it's a test, I got a test token. If it's a staging, I got a staging token. After that, in my main workflow, only thing I have to do is just uh, establish a proper credentials. But this is where the main trick is. So in each of my Telegram nodes, I create a new credentials, which I call dynamic credentials. It's up to you. And the trick is, so instead of switching it to the fixed mode and appointing token directly, I can switch it to expression mode and use variable like this. So uh, since I already have my get and sub workflow executed before this node, I already got my token. So and surprisingly, uh, NA10 will use so will use this token in uh, in these credentials dynamically that's the thing so all i have to do in all of my nodes everywhere in this uh, workflow and in its sub workflows all i have to do is simply to use uh, dynamic credentials right and let me show you the example uh, with sub workflow i can also pass this variable here so which exact environment i would like to use right because i have another sub workflow which have multiple different messages uh, based on my goal so it receives environment do the same thing and simply pass it to dynamic credentials and it does the job 
So if you have multiple customers, each of their own APA tokens, and now you can switch between customers. If you have dev staging production environment, now you can do that as well without any kind of duplication, without any kind of plugin. So I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but it just works. So I use it in my workflows and recommend to do uh, the same. I will make a separate video about the whole release process and how to store workflows in Git. Mm, so if you want to, to know about that, hit subscribe button. So as you can see, sometimes really complicated problems uh, have very simple solutions. So hope that helps you and thanks for watching.